Happy Death Day to you. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Hat, and today we're looking at Happy Death Day to you, which just came out today, and I had the great fortune of seeing it because it came out on a Wednesday, which is my night off. This movie is once again directed by Christopher <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Hat, and today we're going over Happy Death Day to You, which is again directed by Christopher Lane and tells a story again about a tree who keeps dying over and over again by a baby face killer and <laughs> Hello everybody, today we're going over Happy Death Day to You, directed by Christopher Landon, and it tells the story of once again Tree, she's reliving the same day over and over again, except this time she's reliving the same day because this Asian guy has a science experiment that sends her back. And she has to figure out a way to close the loop to send her back to the regular universe, regular day, back to present time. And there's another serial killer going on, but who is this guy? That's the mystery. What do I like about this movie? Well, I love the continuity. It's only like been a year and three months since the last movie, but we got all these returning actors, all these returning gags familiar things that we've seen in the previous movie. Things we go, oh, I remember that, I remember that. I like that this movie tries to do something a little bit different. I'm not too crazy about it, but I like that it tried to do something just a little different. I love that we get an explanation behind why the time loop thing was existing in the previous movie. It's basically, basically you know, that thing you see in the, the trailer, it's the science experiment that somehow affected Tree only. Don't understand that at all. That's a weird writing issue, but I guess it for some reason just affected Tree, so she had to relive the same day over and over and over again because of the science experiment that went off at 12.01 a.m. I also love that this movie picks up the day that this movie, the previous movie, ended. You know, like, it starts with the Asian guy, he goes to the dorm room, he sees Tree and Carter making out on the bed. You know, it's Tuesday the 19th, so I love that it just picks up right after the last movie. And like I said, this movie just tries something different. There's the multiple universes, like different parallel universe thing. It almost felt like watching Back to the Future 2 or some of those Family Guy episodes where they always touch base on this subject. It can get a little confusing, but it was entertaining. This movie keeps you wondering, asking questions. It, it makes you feel invested in the story you want to keep watching just to find out what happens. Jessica Roth, once again, I liked her performance. I liked her as Tree. She's good in this movie she's not as fun in the first movie she kills herself a lot more in this movie except now in this movie she's not dying she's just killing herself a bunch and i love that they brought back i was wondering this when i made my review for happy death day one i was wondering if they were going to drag the whole aspect of her getting weaker after each death into this movie and they do address it she gets weaker and weaker you know she gets a lot of stomach pains and she doesn't know how many times she can die before it's just too late. And because there's alternate universes in this movie, we get to see different sides of characters that we were familiar with and see a different like version of them. That was fun and entertaining. There's some good comedy in this movie. You know, my dad was with me. He was laughing a few times. Some of the comedy was hit and miss. Some of it was too much, too forced, too juvenile. But overall, the comedy, this is more of just a comedy film. There is a lot more blood in this movie than the last one. So got that i mean there's not a whole lot there's actually a lot more cussing in this movie this movie compared to the first one has a lot more cussing and a little bit more blood and it's pg-13 so how did they get away with that lots of shits and assholes and fuck at least one fuck in this movie which i heard that's what you're allowed in pg-13 and i love that we get to see spoiler alert this is a spoiler review from here on out all right Decent movie, average, all right? Just, say, I would see on cheap day or something, if I were you. So if you want, like, a rating, see on cheap day. It's not really worth buying. But yeah, let's get into this movie. Spoiler, we see the mom. We get this mom in the other universe. We get all these touching, dramatic moments. This movie's way more dramatic. I can't really think of anything more good things to say about this movie. It was fun, but that's really it. It's just an average. I was a little underwhelmed by it. This isn't as good as the first one, in my opinion. The overall tone of this movie is way different than the first one. The first one was like half comedic, half slasher. This one's like 10% slasher suspense elements. Like, you know, like stalker, like killer stalking, the Asian guy. There's barely any like actual slasher like moments in this movie. It's mainly just comedy trying to figure out this science experiment and lots of drama. Like way more drama than that first movie. The first one had one scene of like, you know, heartfelt like drama and emotion. This one has like a whole second act of emotion. So this one's very emotional and dramatic compared to the first one. And it was, I felt it ridiculous that she went to all these great lengths of just killing herself in weird, stupid ways that would just be painful. 
we do get confirmation in this movie from the Asian guy that, yes, these deaths, you feel them. Every bit of it. So the fact that she would dive headfirst into a wood chipper and skydive out of the plane, that would, even if you know you're going to make it and live the next day and just come back, that's still a fucking terrifying experience. Once again, I have to call out wearing that fucking mask would never stay on your face as long as it does in this movie. Which just the whole time. It never falls off. It never slides up and down. It's a half mask with a string. Is not going to stay glued to your face. So the fact that there's a, the guy is just willing to walk through crowds, run around in dark rooms, and be able to see stuff and be aware of his surroundings is bullshit. I think my biggest problem with this movie is that both killers, the beginning and end, the beginning because of the trailer, but especially the, the alternate universe killer, which just so happens to be a baby face killer, basically doing the same fucking thing as Lori. The killer reveal is so obvious i i i know this is, i don't say this is a spoiler review but the motivation is makes no fucking sense all right when you find out what this you know person is doing you're like how okay you know what fuck it spoil it spoiler review i already told you my rating so if you didn't want spoilers you're gone but if you want spoilers you're still here the killer in this alternate universe is the dr gregory and he is actually fucking Lori in this one whereas in the other movie Lori was upset with uh jessica roth tree for fucking Gregory. So it's reversed in this timeline. But Gregory's killing Lori because, you know, his wife found out about his affair. But the wife is in on it too. Like, oh, sorry, honey, I cheated on you. Let's go kill this bitch I'm cheating on you with together. Why is she on board? That makes no sense. But it's also just predictable that it was Gregory in the first place. This movie doesn't try to give you red herrings like the first one, explaining how there's all these people that hate Tree. This one does nothing to make you go, oh, maybe it's this person, this person, it could be that person. This movie doesn't make you think it's anybody else other than like Gregory. And there's one continuity issue that I found in this movie and that is the gay guy's hair the gay guy's hair is completely fucking different and it makes no sense like there's all this great continuity why would you change the gay guy's hair when his hair did not look like that when he was around that corner meeting tree the comedy is way too much in this movie just it goes a little too much corny like the overall tone in this movie is just corny it's like way too much comedy there's barely any slasher to this movie and i felt like it didn't really explain one thing like the asian guy at the beginning the double killer you know like the asian guy from another universe goes to kill this asian guy to stop the loop but then when they go back to the present day the tree she goes back to that day where there's the two asians and there's no two Asians no more. What happened to that guy? It just, it makes no sense. I would also like to point out that Tree says that she died 11 times in the previous movie. That's a correction. In the last movie, she said, I died 16, 17 times. Bullshit. She died 11 and she corrected herself in this movie. I like that. This movie also just gives you that forced, like, exposition storytelling. Like, oh, in case you missed the first movie, here's what happened. And it's so cheesy. It's like, it gives you everything from beginning to end of the first movie. So you don't even need to see the first one walking into this. But yeah, overall, I was just over, I was underwhelmed by this. It's nowhere near as fun as the first one. Way too comedic and way too dramatic. There's hardly any slasher elements to this film. There's no good red herring. You just basically know who it is right away. There's really nothing making you guess other people, but it's still enjoyable. So therefore, I'll say when it comes to Happy Death Day to you, I would just get this at Redbox. Those are my thoughts on Happy Death Day to you. Do you think there'll be a Happy Death Day 3? There could be, who knows? It's Blumhouse and Universal. They're known for this shit. Let me know what your thoughts are on this movie in the comments below if you've seen it already. And as always, you can hit this like button to support this video. And if you're not a subscriber and you wish to do so, you can do so by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds to see more. And until next time, I will be to see you.